the question is often asked is, uh, what is psychiatry and what is neuroscience? Uh, well, one, psychiatry is a branch of medicine. A psychiatrist is a general practitioner, an MD, with additional training around mental disorders. That's why psychiatrists can write prescriptions and psychologists cannot. Psychologists are not a branch of medicine. They're an independent professional group. Neuroscience is the study of the central nervous system, principally the brain. And neuroscience uh, is happening in order for us not just to understand the, the brain because it's a lot of fun, but to understand the brain's functions in order to help resolve its dysfunctions. The DSM-5 is the Diagnostic Statistics Manual, and it's an operative term here, uh, statistics, not standards, statistics, because it's a, it's a consensus basis of diagnosing illnesses um, between and among psychiatrists purportedly around the world, but really, they're mostly the Americans. One of the ways that, they, uh, this, that exists is not only to treat people, but to, be, to create categories that psychiatrists can uh, bill against in the United States. This is a consensus process. Dr. Tom Insull, the director of the National Institute of Mental Health in the United States, the biggest grant giver in the world, has said he's not going to award any more uh, subsidies or grants based upon the DSM-5 or research that's associated with that because he says, and he couldn't be more correct in my opinion, that this is the only branch of medicine on the planet that accepts consensus as a basis for medical diagnosis. You wouldn't have a heart uh, doctor look at you and say, oh, you've, you, clearly you have heart disease because you've got a headache, or you're going to have a stroke because you've got a headache or a chest pain. They have to do tests. What we need in, 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 to, to break the back of mental illness as an illness and as a stigmatized condition is to have the objective science in place to be able to not just treat it, but to direct the treatments to the specific parts of the brain that are in dysfunction. So neuroscience is getting a bit, uh, key neuroscientists, Dr. Phillips, Tony Phillips, Dr. Remy Kirion, the chief scientist of Quebec, uh, Dr. Ensel, Dr. Daniel Weinberger, the world's authority, uh, who's a psychiatrist, the world's leading authority on schizophrenia, all feel we need to get the science out front of the problem so we understand why these things happen, what causes them. Psychiatry, the way it's practiced now, generally doesn't behave on that basis. It behaves on the basis of these are the symptoms I see and therefore you have this. But there's no, sub no objective criteria. So what we're seeing is a tension between neuroscience and psychiatry and a strong preponderance of opinion that psychiatry should be, and one day will be, folded into neuroscience. It will be the practicing arm, if you will, of uh, brain science, and that's probably where it belongs.